Ustad Rahat Fateh Ali Khan comes from a long line of vocalists and he's a specialist in the traditional Qawwali style, in addition to performing guzzles and other light music. This acclaimed Bollywood playback singer has also performed on major Hollywood soundtracks and when he made a brief tour of South Africa under the Blue Blood banner recently, local music lovers flocked to hear his voice. Here's a taste of the experience. Rahat Fateh Ali Khan is steeped in the Qawwali tradition and is currently considered to be one of its leading exponents. Dating back to the 10th century, Qawwali has been the style of devotional music through which Sufis have expressed their submission to the divine. Within the broad family of Islam, Sufism focuses on mystic spirituality and the soulfulness of the music has given it a broad appeal, spanning Pakistan, the Indian subcontinent, the Middle East and across the globe. In recent months, South Africans have been privileged enough to see great international acts come to our shores, and tonight is no exception. Rahat Fahir Ali Khan has performed songs in over a hundred Hindi movies, and today I get to spend a little time with the man himself as he performs in Johannesburg. While the musicians and technicians prepared for the evening's performance, Kriya met up with the husband and wife impresarios who had made the tour possible. Their association with Rahat goes back a number of years. Mr. and Mrs. Osman, it is always a pleasure to have you with us on Mela. So tell me, why did you decide to bring Rahat to South Africa again? Rahat is very close to our heart. It was one of the first big events that we did. We started negotiating with him in 2013, and it was a huge achievement for us when we did his show in 2014. And obviously, you know, we always wanted to bring him back because there was a big demand. And today it's a resounding success. What makes his performances so special? He comes with a legacy behind him. Nusrat Fatih Ali Khan is the prodigal son, the son of the soil of India, of Pakistan. And this is his nephew, Rahat Fatih Ali Khan. You know, it is just so amazing to be a part of this type of performance. A live performance by Rahat is not to be missed and his South African fans filled the venue. Kriya had an opportunity to chat with the star between the photo shoot and the performance. Mr Khan, thank you so much for joining us here on Mela. It really is an honour. I think we need to start with where did it all begin for you? Where did you fall in love with music? I was six years old. I used to listen to my grandfather's Kavali, who died in 1963. So I start crying. I wasn't understand. What is this? And what he's saying, the words meaning. But I was crying. I went to washroom, I was crying. I went to school, I cried. I, I came to my mom, I cried. So what happened? I can I don't know. I don't know. After that, I realized I have to sing. So if you go through a whole shade of emotions, how do you bring that into your music? That's improvisation. It's in your mind, it's in your soul. So you can improvise with your soul. Having performed in over a hundred Hindi films, what has got to be your favorite so far? The first one, Pop, Lagi Tum Se Man Ki Lagan. I love this song. It's so simple and so close to soul. You had a recent hit with Welcome to New York. How did that come about? We have already done a lot of work with Asha Bosleji and Shamir Bhai. And this time they contact us and we listen to that song and like. South Africans are very excited to see you perform this evening. This is your third time in South Africa. What keeps bringing you back? Respect, love and friends, fans. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me and I look forward to your performance. Thank you so much, Kriya. Yeah. Ustad Rahat Fateh Ali Khan. There wasn't an empty seat in the house when Rahat was welcomed to the stage and he began the show with an upbeat intro to break the ice and set the crowd rocking. As a playback singer, Rahat has a repertoire covering hundreds of songs and the fans eagerly awaited their favorites to come up on the playlist. 
In addition to his work for the Indian and Pakistani film industries, he has also performed on the soundtracks of major Hollywood movies such as Dead Man Walking, The Four Feathers and Apocalypto. This is testimony not only to his talent, professionalism and popularity, but also his vocal versatility. With fans settled in the comfort zone, Rahat upped the energy with a rapid fire delivery that had the audience spellbound and breathless. <laughs> The last note faded into a standing ovation. The show was absolutely vibrant, energetic and powerful. We really, really enjoyed every piece of music that he sang. We loved this show. He really gave us the goosebumps. I think by far this was one of the best in terms of his musicians and uh, his versatility. It was excellent. Yeah.